To health news now, when Zika has reached Africa, the virus has been blamed for birth abnormalities in Brazil and other countries. Now, the World Health Organization says 200 cases have been confirmed on the island of Cape Verde. Thousands more are suspected. Cases of birth defects have also been reported. 170 pregnant women are among those infected. The findings are of concern because it's further proof the outbreak is spreading beyond South America. That's according to the WHO's Africa director. The WHO says Africa needs to reevaluate risk levels and increase preparedness. The WHO does not, however, recommend strict travel restrictions. Now, the news from the WHO has put the African Union on alert. Zika could be the first major test for the AU's new disease control efforts. We spoke to CCTV's Groom Chala a little earlier. The AU has been praised these past few months over its response to Ebola. Like the WHO, it was initially slow to react, even as the death toll in West Africa ran into the thousands. But it did send in emergency teams and the AU did set up and execute plans for a Pan-African Center for Disease Control. So officials here are confident the AU is up to the challenge of another outbreak should this strain of Zika spread across the mainland. The Center for Disease Control is designed to coordinate the response by health officials across Africa, improving surveillance, preparation and intervention. For now, the CDC is temporarily housed at the AU headquarters here in Addis Ababa with staff. But the CDC is coordinating with health ministers in Nigeria, Kenya, Gabon, Egypt and Zambia. And the AU says they will help the fledgling Center for Disease Control get its Pan-African efforts off the ground. Groomed CCTV at the suburb, Ethiopia.